At long last, I have finally been able to install One UI 5.1 on my Galaxy Z Fold 4. In this video, we're gonna quickly take a look at some of my favorite new features on that device and compare them to that on my S23 Ultra because there's at least one feature that I was really looking forward to that doesn't appear to be functional on the Z Fold, which is a pretty big bummer. Let's jump here to the overhead camera and begin comparing. So the first one we're gonna take a look at is actually in the camera application. Let's go to our selfie. And if you click on the little magic wand up top on both of these, you'll now see color tone as an option, which will allow you to very quickly adjust the tone of the selfie that you're about to be taking. If we go back, and we scroll over here to where it says more, we now have a link to the Expert Raw app in both of these, which you can click and it should then open up the Expert Raw camera app. Now, one unfortunate thing is that if you see here on the S23 Ultra, there is the Astro Photo Mode. I do not see that as an option on the Z Fold. So that really neat Astro photo mode apparently has not made the jump over. Another feature that has failed to make the jump to the Z Fold 4 is the ability to pop an image out from the gallery application. If I long press over here, you'll see it will grab this bit of the image. You can pop it out, copy it, save it as a sticker, share it, whatever you want to do over here, nothing happens. Nothing happens. So you have to actually go into your edit, click on the little circle, and then manually draw around the object to get to sort of the same place. But I really wish they would have brought this feature over because that is one that's really cool and I've actually used a few times already. Now one quick note on that feature is that there are reports that it is going to be coming to these devices in a gallery app update. At time of recording, that update has not hit yet. I checked in my store and it was not there. So maybe it will be coming later, fingers crossed. Now they have added some new features to the gallery app overall, though apparently the ability to search for multiple people in a photo, as well as some additional details if you swipe up on the photo, which I'm not going to do because my address is actually in the details there, but some added functionality to the gallery app, just not the function that I most wanted which is, like I said earlier, a bit of a bummer. We do have, though, the new battery widget, which you can see here as well as here. And what that's going to do is allow you to quickly, at a glance, see your phone's battery, but also your Galaxy Watch, your Galaxy Buds. Anything connected will now show up in this new widget. If you go into your settings and you go into modes and routines, there are some additional settings here as well. You're actually able to set a wallpaper depending upon the mode that you are in. So if you're in work mode or sleep mode, the wallpaper can actually change. But even more than this, you can set all sorts of different scripts, kind of like a Bixby routine to go off as well to change all sorts of different settings. So again, at a certain time or place, you go into a new mode and now all sorts of really useful features and things can change on your device. If we go into connected devices, you will see that multi-control is now an option. And what this does is it allows you to use the cursor and keyboard on your Galaxy Book to control the phone and drag things between those devices. That is a pretty cool one if you do have a Galaxy Book. Another really nice feature though that we have in Samsung DeX is the ability to adjust two windows at the same time. Before when you did this, you would only be adjusting the size of the window that was in, uh, I guess I could say the foreground, the one that was used last. So basically, if it was YouTube Music, you would just be covering YouTube up with it instead of adjusting both windows. So that is a really nice addition. I do also want to mention that apparently the animations are meant to be smoother. They don't really seem all that different to me, but I don't really have two fold fours to compare to go back and forth on. So it's not something I can really like show you on camera. But overall, One UI 5.1 does seem to be a pretty decent update, even if it is missing a few of the things I liked the most on my S23 Ultra. Let me know what feature I may be left out that you wanted to see brought to this device. Which ones are you most excited about? 
Let me know in those comments down below, guys. I'll see you in the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.